Hey, what's good, viewer? This is Spanky. Today I've got the Fing Fang Foom Build a Figure. And this is something special to me because it's been on my Holy Grail list for a long time. And I got it from a guy on uh, Instagram named Them That Gots. Good dude. I bought stuff from him before. I, uh, you know, I'm going to put his name down here or something. But I'm just so happy to have this because uh, it's been on my want list for a long time. And I got it from a trusted seller. And I've asked that guy like six times before whether or not he's willing to sell it. And then one day I saw it on Instagram and I see he's selling it. So guess who got it? But you guys are going to have to uh, excuse my lighting issues here. Usually my lighting setup works good for other figures. But of course this is a huge figure. And let's see how huge he is. Starting at the feet. That's 12 inches. And then that's hard to tell. I'm going to say he's about 14 inches tall. That's including his horns up here. Um, he's huge. I mean, these are the build of figures that we used to get, but now we're getting like rocket raccoons and crap like that. It's pretty crazy. It's such a such a huge contrast and such a, such a huge change for a lot of Marvel Legends collectors. Uh, I mean, this was definitely the golden age of Marvel Legends, or one of them. Uh, it's hard to tell if this was actually. It's hard to tell if these are better than you know, like the Sentinels, or you know, that's going to be all up to opinion as to which had the better Build-A-Figures, but I'm more than sure that this was built by Hasbro, or uh, created by Hasbro. It's just been a while since they've actually stepped up their game and did something this this awesome. But before I talk you to death, we're getting into six minute point here, let's just quickly look at like the texture on them. I mean, look at that. Look how beautifully sculpted this is. I mean, holy wah. That's just crazy. Even his tongue is sculpted. You see that? Look at his teeth there. His head. Look at his eyes real quick. I mean, he's even got like little reflective dots in there. He got, you know, darker red and orange. His horns are fully sculpted, of course. His, uh, we'll call them ear fins are sculpted. I mean, just wow. Look at the amount of details in this mother. This mother lover. This is just crazy. I don't understand what's happened in almost the past decade. It hasn't been quite a decade since this came out, but something's changed where they just don't put the amount of love into these figures like they used to. Let's look at his hand here. I mean, look at that. Look at those scales, these fingers, look at these fingernails. He's even got shading on his fingernails. You get some yellow in there, a little bit of texture. Just, that's just crazy. We could go looking through all this forever. Take a look at the back here. Got these sculpted wings. The wings even have what look like, I would say, veins. I mean, look, it's crazy. I'm in love. I'm really, really happy with the way this figure came out. And I'm really, really happy to finally have this Holy Grail piece. It's actually a little bit better than I thought it would be. I did not think that it would be so detailed and great. It does lack an articulation, but you know, beggars can't be choosers, I guess. I mean, I don't know if that's the right expression. I'm just talking. I just, I don't know. I don't know what to say. It doesn't have, it, does, it lacks articulation, that's for sure. Um, head can go up and down about that much. It's on a ball joint. So you get a pretty good range of motion out of there. And when I say la lax articulation, I mean, I'm just, I'm being really nitpicky when I say that. I mean, what, what can you actually expect from this? We get a swivel right here. And then 360, go out. It goes a little bit loose, not too loose. It kind of locks there. Can't complain, it's an older figure. Um, he'll go out that much. Upper bicep swivel. We get a double jointed elbow. Right there. His wings are on a hinge. Um, I watched an old Shardimus Prime review of this. 
just to kind of prepare myself for it and what to talk about and uh, he had a good he had a good suggestion that the wings could have been bigger I think this is accurate though to the actual character I think his wings are pretty small but I agree that it could it would look a little bit cooler with the wings bigger but this is also actually more accurate to the actual character I just he got the annihilus wings the annihilus build a figure wings and those look pretty good on it um, he's got a diaphragm joint right here good range of motion out of that it does uh, do get some detail skipped out right about there when you lift the diaphragm up you can see some uh, smooth plastic that doesn't flesh well and it's also right here under his armpit like right there they didn't finish that up fully I mean these are all just really 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 minor complaints that I'm just pointing out as a reviewer gotta be nitpicky sometimes or else you guys will eat me alive with my reviews I'm sure you guys will eat me alive with this review I'm just not used to doing big toys like this so I know I've said a lot of stupid things so far and there's the leg articulation uh, what articulation he's got a hinge down there it can go you know left and right he's got some knee articulation doesn't really do much can't go out and it can only go back a little bit Urgh, I'm wrestling with it that's about all the knee articulation you get out of that probably won't ever use it um, I don't think I ever looked at his toes for detail sorry if I just made you sick Ooh, there's a hair Yuck. oh gosh there's a look at his toes same love put into the toes these toes over here are a little bit nastier you see that those toes are a little grosser that's pretty cool man all this nasty lint showing up that doesn't show up otherwise okay where was I um let's go to the tail check out some of the detail detail in the tail haha <laughs> um, it's got a swivel right here there's not much point in swiveling it though because when you do that, it just kind of breaks the continuance of it. If that makes any sense. Same here. Uh, but you can swivel it. I don't see why many people would. I think it looks good as is. But this is just so cool. Oh, I'm so happy to have this. Oh, there you are. Anyways, guys, this is definitely a uh, great, amazing figure. If you ever have the chance to get it, then grab it. It's going to cost you maybe 250 so it's pretty expensive it's it's definitely up there in price but it's well worth the price it's definitely a work of art I mean you saw the amount of love that they put into the texture here and the paint all looks great the two-tone paint even on the nails it looks dirty like the details just everywhere it's crazy it's just amazing I don't know what else to say I mean it looks great I definitely recommend it go check it out um, you're not going to find this on Big Bad Toy Store, more than likely, but check out Big Bad Toy Store for all your other Marvel Legend toys. Other than that, thanks for joining, thanks for watching, and uh, thanks for getting to see one of my Holy Grail pieces, and yes, I'm so happy. Alright, peace out.